Hello my soccer universe, we'll make a huge jump, we did group B uh, yesterday, now we're gonna go all the way down to E. Main reason being that uh, Ukraine has released a New Jersey where I haven't really not seen any good pictures so far. So waiting for that and then I said okay let's go to the bottom of the pile before we move them towards the middle at the end. Any case. Group E uh, has one real heavyweight and then a few nations from uh, Eastern Northern Europe that, you know, never excite almost anyone. However, they have some interesting jerseys for sure. Um, and, you know, most of them are so, so, so enough that they probably can go even deep in a tournament. In any case, I always do, I do it like in the other videos, not always, uh, that I start with the pot one team, which in this case is Spain, then we go to pot two team, Poland and Sweden, and we finish with Slovakia, which I decided to wear because honestly, among the jerseys that I have not hanging back there on the wall, um, I think Slovakia is almost the nicest one with honorable mentions to Spain 2010, but I've been away jersey. But I've been wearing that one a whole lot and decided let's wear this really nice, very recently acquired Slovakia jersey. But we will start with Spain, as I said. And I have to say, among most of the Adidas releases, Spain was the one that baffled me the most. And the first time I saw it was like actually a kid's jersey where the whole thing even looks worse. I mean, come on. Okay, red jersey, great. But if you would have just kept it plain red, I think you would be on to something here. Especially with the uh, yellow uh, shoulder stripes and, and, and so on. That actually could have worked. Also, we have finally back a uh, full colored crest, or almost full colored crest, which uh, coincidentally, the moment the Spanish jersey was, uh, all the color was taken out of that uh, Spanish home jersey, that's when they started not winning tournaments anymore. Look it up, 2014, that was uh, for the first one. I think even the 2013 might have had chromatic crest, where they went in Confederation, Confederations Cup in there. That's a tour to a tournament that uh, no one really care, cares about. But what really gets me are these unmotivated vertical and horizontal lines and then different shadings of red. And like with the inter away jersey from the 2020-2021 season, it's never a good look to have vertically and horizontal. And then in addition, not having anything uh, the, like the vertical stripe is not centered, it's kind of off-centered, then it goes just below the crest in the, in, in, in a way. Uh, there's, no, there's really no rhyme or reason to it. I've read meanwhile what this pattern should be. They took the Spanish flag and zoomed in. Big, 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 big. I don't know at what point they zoomed in. I assume somewhere on the coat of arms and this is what they got. Boring as can be. And again, there is no rhyme or reason to it. Uh, unless you have read this, you really do not know what this should be. There's nothing Spanish about it to me. I find this really one of the most disappointing jerseys out there. Um, what I would have done is I would have taken a plain red base Take this color, make a Spanish flag on there, Spanish flag trim, and you have a winner. This way, nah, absolutely not. Forget about it. Three stars. It's, I mean, it's just, nah, it's not a good jersey at all. At, at, at all. The away jersey actually takes a little bit of the idea that I just said we have flag trim on, on, on the sleeves, which instantly makes this a better jersey. I was still wondering about the colors. Why do we have gray? It's La Furia Roja and not the, the silvery gray, you know, I know it's all Adidas, blah, blah, blah. Um, the big feature are the sleeve curves here. Uh, the coat of arms is again a little bit taken color out, uh, so also not all that, uh, that are great. Um, but the sleeve cuffs saved this jersey from being a bad one. I really would, would have liked if they would have at least the three stripes, you know, mimic a Spanish flag there like Ali just likes to do. Take two red and one yellow and it looks a little bit better. But so, I mean, uh, when I ever, I, I can say that the big design feature are the sleeve cuffs, you got a problem. Um, still much better. Uh, I actually think it gets a little bit more life when you put a name set uh, on, the, on, the, on the back on the front so there's a little bit red in there. 
still um, not much more than an average jersey. I'm going five stars with this one because it's not offensive in, 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 in any way, but uh, it's really not exciting. Now you would be surprised that for Poland, uh, I'm not going the same route. I actually think that Nike has done a really good job there. Uh, and it is gone all out in its Polishness. Uh, you might not recognize it at first, but there's the flag all over. This is flag trim gone wild. I really love the color. And of course the color is just a Polish flag wrapped, wrapped around the neck. neck. The sleeve cuffs, it's a Polish flag. It's just that there's the white sleeves, but the Polish flag is white on the red. So uh, it all looks re really, really nice. I even like the uh, bold Polish eagle uh, down in the center. However, I think it would have looked a little bit better if you move the, the crest where, where it properly should be on the left side. Um, it makes a teeny bit more sense uh, with the numbering style, so the number is out there, but I still find it a little bit off. I always like my numbers centered. I know Nike doesn't do that any, anymore. I prefer it centered this, this way, or if you must, okay, put the uh, eagle where the nine is and put the nine below the swoosh. I think this would look much better. I think they're going for a kind of a retro look there, uh, but uh, it, it's not quite there yet. Still, very, very nice jersey in all its plainness, but just putting the national colors on there and magnifying that logo makes it already a great jersey. And for that reason, I'm going with Lewandowski nine stars here the away jersey though um, does very similarly but is not as cool in my uh, understanding uh, for two reasons a and it's the two template features it's the weird color that is the intersecting here on the back and we'll look at the back in a in a little bit and also then these flashes on the side that make the side strap in white and be done, done, done with it. That is all red. I'm fine with that. Uh, we again have a Polish flag trim. However, you know, there's also this little incision here, which makes it a bit weird. Uh, and same problem. The Polish eagle uh, is in the center. And um, I know it should be on a red background, but on a red shirt, it doesn't pop out as nicely. As I said, on the back i really don't like this overlap on the back and then you put again this the eagle on there which looks completely misplaced in a way i actually think in this case it might have looked better to just leave it alone uh same problems with name and number i still think though despite having now talked rather ne ne negatively about it as a poland away jersey it does a damn far damn fine job and for that reason I, it's not all bad. I'm willing to give this uh, seven stars again. It is plain, but I like it. Is there is some boldness to it? It's just that a few of the um, template uh, features let it down in my understanding, and for that reason, only seven stars for this one. Moving on to Sweden, another Adidas one, another Adidas one that I don't quite get. Yes, this is template as we've seen with Russia or all, all, all already but what I don't get is um, why navy you have to look at the crest the crest has this light blue from the Swedish flag I know navy is strong but it's not something that I um, associate with Sweden I always take a lighter more royal blue maybe even this the, the very light blue from the Swedish Swedish flag we have it a little bit on, on the sleeve cuff so there's a little bit of a connect there but everything else the if you take out the sleeve cuffs the crest is completely lost here that is my problem I think that the dark blue is actually to the detriment of this jersey I also find that the shade of yellow at least here is a little bit too, uh, too much on the lemony side and less on where I would expect my Sweden jersey with a bright strong yellow there uh, the name said I yeah probably sure should look out I think it comes in this lighter blue color which kind of redeems it a little bit I know Ibra is not at the euros but that's uh, that's the only name, names that I, I could reliably find in this configuration. And uh, spoiler, spoiler, I'll get another one with a different number. Ibra is not wearing 10 uh, anymore for Sweden and unfortunately won't be at the Euros. 
So overall, yeah, kind of Sweden, kind of not. It, it, it's an odd look and again, I'm drawn towards the middle of the grades. It's not super offensive, it's not as bad as the Spain jer jersey, but it's not, uh, to me, it's not a great Sweden jersey either. And for that reason, we'll stick with the five stars. However, you want to see a great Sweden jersey, look at that away. Again, we take the too dark, uh, too dark of a color, but this uh, reminds me of the 2012 where they took the um, uh, River Plate style and with poker colors, colors, and yeah, a jersey that would have get beaten, get you beaten up in Buenos Aires any time. Same colors here with poker colors, but now with pinstriping. I have to say, when I saw this, this was probably one of my favorite jerseys that Adidas released with the Russia away also being a particular highlight. I really like this one a whole lot. Pinstripes do are a really nice design um, and I think it really works well here. Uh, maybe again the crest is a little bit lost on it but here I can understand it. It actually you need a little bit of the contrast so uh, I think that it connects well. This is a really really well crafted jersey. Uh, names and numbers now here we have Ibra's proper number are 11 of course so uh, also that looks nice and I have already, already said I mean I'm not necessarily dying to get it but if I was about to get a Sweden away jersey this one here is pretty much uh, high on my list and I hope that maybe Sweden gets elimination uh, soonish and then this jersey will be cheaper and then I have a nice Sweden away jersey kind of something uh, along these lines. Um, the one thing that I've seen on Twitter is that when you buy it as a replica and I'm not sure that I see the same thing for the uh, player version that the pinstriping is off, it's not centered around the color, it's a little bit off and this is something once you see it you cannot unsee it and for that reason I'm not going 10 but only 9 stars here but really really nicely done on the Adidas. See Adidas can do good job. And then we go to another Nike, so we have Adidas Nike, Adidas Nike, Slovakia. I love this jersey, I truly truly love this jersey. So yeah, and then they come out with the next jersey like that. Um, I am not a fan of camouflage jerseys. I was saying this right off the bat. So for me this is more of a camouflage pattern, although I can also see this as being some mountain range with ice at night. It's not a look that I'm uh, crazy about, honestly. The other thing, and that, that's also the one thing that uh, I don't like on this jersey. Make like this. Much better jersey. This crest is a little bit too much there and also centered. Uh, replace it with the swoosh and I think you're on to something slightly better. Um, is it a bad jersey? No, because I really like the color scheme. Uh, the, color, the color scheme is really nice and that Slovakia is finally back uh, with a dark home jersey also is to my liking a whole lot. Again, it has the design flaw with the overlapping back collar, which you don't see very well, and I assume also the side flashes. So those are things, okay, we can do better with. Um, it is, as I said, compared to this, it completely is, does not look as good. At least for me, I saw people that, that I think this is a better jersey. I disagree. To me, the pattern, a pattern should only work if there's some connection to the country itself, which I don't necessarily see here. Uh, maybe you can enlighten me. Is it a bad jersey? No, but for me, it's a rather middle. I'm going six stars here. Um, and for the away jersey, um, yeah, rather plain again, the flash is on the side. The color looks a little, little bit better with a very interesting uh, red and blue on the back. Um, but then that's that. Uh, it's kind of, yeah, let's get the plainest jer uh, jersey and color it a little bit to have something interesting. Also, rather down the middle, but instead of six, I want to go here five. And that's about that. So we're through with Group E. Please let me know what you thought about the jerseys in here. Uh, which ones you like, which ones, ones you dislike, where you disagree and where you agree with me. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see more. We'll have tomorrow Group F, Group of Death. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. 
Hey, just in case you enjoyed this video, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider following me on social media and actually subscribe to my channel so that you stay up to with everything that happens in my software universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.